Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you your daily love reading for the day commencing Monday, April 20th, 2020. Ooh, got some kind of synchronistic numbers going on there. Let's see, so we'd have four, the 20, two and two and two, let's see, so two plus two plus two, that's six, six and four is ten. So some of you are at of an end of a cycle, completion, and when you break that 10 down, all of the numbers for today's energy brings you to the number one. So new, new beginnings, which would deem appropriate because we're going from the new moon to the full moon. So, um, also to, uh, happy birthday to all of the Taurus cross watchers out there might be watching this video today. I have a lot of Taurus friends in my life <laughs> and Taurus is the 180 degree opposite of Scorpio. So it's half of the Zodiac. So that's fantastic. All right. So. We're going to go ahead and dive into this reading. All of this week, um, we are going to be in a five-card spread. Uh, this week, uh, because I do have uh, readings to do for clients, uh, I think I'll probably post a special um, special announcement video for you guys um, just about how I'm doing readings now, okay, because I'm trying to get the clients and anybody new on a rhythm and a flow and a cycle from the new moon to the full moon or full moon to new moon or new moon to new moon or full moon to full moon cycles when it comes to your readings. Because I'm going to tell you guys something. When you have back to back to back to back readings, that energy, and especially when you're asking the same questions, for your particular situation, all that energy, you guys, is going to crash. It's going to absolutely crash, and it's just all that in info and all that energy is just going to go out into the ethers and basically get lost. Okay, so, <clears throat> so with the way I'm going to do readings, either you choose to do a reading once every two weeks or once every four weeks, okay, because... The, the universe has to find time and the loopholes, we'll say, basically the loopholes, to bring manifestation into pass, okay? So, if you'd like to book a reading with me this week, I have spots available on, they're all recorded readings that you can view through an unlisted link, okay? Um, I have spots available on Wednesday and Thursday, okay? So, and all of the specials are listed in the description box below because I want to get everybody on a cycle. I want to get everybody's energy aligned, okay? Because with the way the world's been, everybody's, everybody's been out of sync. Everybody's been out of balance. Your minds are racing. It's, it's not a good vibration to be in, Okay? So hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. If you like to get entered in for the free drawing for tomorrow, um, you have to email me and I'll put you into the contest. My clients, they already go into the, the contest, okay? Anybody that has had a reading with me, you automatically get entered, okay? The rule of thumb is that you have to be a subscriber, Okay, but I want to give everybody a chance, an opportunity this time. All right, so anyway, let's dive into this reading. and roll the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. The number two, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces if they were born in the month of February. Let's see here. 
we have the number one, Capricorn energy or Aquarius energy. Ah, the number 12. This is interesting. Okay, so you could be dealing also, too, with Sagittarian or Capricorn energy. I see. Okay, so we have the 21 and we have the 12. So it's the numbers just reversed. That's pretty cool. So 2 and 2 is 4 plus the other 2, that's 6. Okay, so this is about equal give and take, equal reciprocity, the number 6. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or possibly Cancerian energy. Okay, also, too... Um, Oh my God, Spirits, where are we going this morning? <laughs> my coffee hasn't gone down yet, you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going. I spaced out. There must be a reason. I must have had a time lapse there. I must have had a time lapse. You know, when you when you lose your, like, you know when they say, like, oh, you were walking into the room to go find something and you get to the room and you can't remember? They say that's like a, um, it's like a time lapse. Like time jumped. It's kind of crazy. All right, so we're going to shuffle the deck to the number 33. My thoughts kick back into gear here. All right. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Thank you, spirits. Okay. They got me back into the loophole there. So I'm seeing automatically the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Keep in mind, Scorpio, and to the cross watchers, that not all messages are going to resonate for every single Scorpio out there. Or cross watcher. However, I could say that one thing and it could be the aha moment. Okay. 100% of the time, all signs get represented in my readings Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33 okay pulling from the top of the deck you guys two of cups reconciliation is on the board so if reconciliation has been on your mind absolutely it is coming forward they want to see you face to face could be dealing straight up with cancer pisces scorpio energy i love it when the two of cups comes in because there's this union divine soul connection somebody i'm, I'm hearing the song um i think it's from the platters can't take my eyes off of you. You're just too good to be true. Can't take, I love you, baby. Is that, is that the platters or no? It's uh, maybe four seasons. Anyway, let's see here. One and two. Again, five card spread. There was a judgment call. Somebody's going to be asking for a second chance, you guys. And they want to reap the harvest with you. They want to celebrate. They want this relationship to come together. So whatever situation that you find yourself in, because all of you have many different stories with many intricate details. A lot of you are in separation, yes. Some of you are with your person. But might have had a feud or a spat or whatever. But somebody's going to be asking for a second chance. They want to rebirth this relationship so if judgment is kicking in then somebody must have had a tower moment or they've been having tower moment after tower moment after tower moment because the universe is just gonna keep bringing tower moments until that person in that scenario is gonna wake up wake up to the truth of the union wake up to the truth of the connection Because when, when something is fated and destined to be, yes, will be. But if the universe has to keep bringing in a tower moment to your person, let the universe do it. Until they break this person down. Until they break it down and say, okay, this person needs to come forward. They're going to be begging. A lot of them will be begging for a second chance. After this... Um, the veil is unlifted here. 
for those of you in that scenario. Some of you are already in communication with your person. Some of you have gotten a little bit of form of reconciliation. I don't think maybe the reconciliation for some of you um, in this scenario that it's not exactly how you might have pictured it in your head. But there's communication. Some of your partners are still evading the truth. Some of them are not, um, they're not openly being expressive. Some of them are talking to you, but they still haven't apologized. That it, You guys right there, if you're in that scenario, I'm telling you, it's a very fine yellow line, okay? Pick and choose your battles wisely, okay? You don't have to settle for BS, okay? But in this regard, somebody's going to be asking for a second chance. They love you. This person loves you to the moon and back and the stars and the universe, everything. They love you. They know that you two are meant to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Also, too, Spirit wants me to tell somebody. Some of you could be dealing, I say, with a Pisces that was born on February 20th because I'm seeing the 2 and the 20. So, for some odd reason, Spirit said push that message. So, you could be dealing with a Pisces that was born on February 20th. All right. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, they're returning, you guys. Whatever's been unsatisfactory, see, somebody's arriving. They're arriving. Here's the intention. Here's the motivation. True love coming together face to face. It's like a storyboard. Everything's coming out, you guys. Numbers do not lie, okay? There's a succession of numbers kicking in here. So they're going to be asking for a second chance. Some of them are going to be begging to move back in with you. And here, for some of you, been waiting at your house. Like everybody's been in quarantine. This, this character on this card's been in quarantine. Now something's getting lifted. But somebody's returning with a satchel. With a satchel. And I'm picking up. Some of them may have dogs or cats. Maybe a pet owner. Picking that energy up. Okay. Come knocking on your door. Four cups. See, we got two and the number 20. So two plus two is four. Four and four is eight. Eight is the number of succession, success, victory, infinity, strength. So somebody's going to get the strength. To come forward and knock on your door or reach out and communicate. They want a second chance. They don't want to, I say that they don't want to let this relationship go. They don't. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, they don't want to let this, they don't want to lose this because whatever they've been dealing with has been a lot of BS. Ten of Wands burden but I also um, yesterday in one of my divine uh, masculine readings I was picking up the song Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Marvin Gaye and uh, Tammy Terrell coming in off of this ain't no mountain high ain't no valley low enough ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you okay that is on the positive aspect of the ten of wands that I'm picking up on because there's love here. There's love. Devotion is wanting to kick in. Somebody's wanting to reap the harvest with you could be by the fall as well. Some of you, it's going to be during the summertime for this union. It could be two hours, could be two minutes, two hours, two days, two months. Today is the 20th. So some of you <clears throat> may be getting that apology today, somebody could be asking you for a second chance today. I've got 
four minutes, four days, four weeks, four months with the cups. It could be that over the last 10 weeks that your person, Scorpio or vice versa, has been going through a lot of challenges. But yet there's been preparation. There's preparation that is happening in here with the squirrel. Okay. Somebody's gearing up. I say it's to get the courage and the strength when you add up these numbers here. So I'm seeing Leo the Lion energy kicking in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. King of Wands, some of you are dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. I've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio on the board, not once but twice. Fire energy, you could be in a fire water type of combination um, relationship possibly. Um, I do get, because of the imagery is different on the... Um, on the harvest slash judgment card because there's a lot of fruit and vegetables I look at that as earth so I am picking up Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy from the imagery of the fruit and vegetables okay but King of Wands they're sexually thinking about you they want to take this chance they want to take this risk they are passionate they are passionate about you Scorpio and vice versa some of some of your um, maybe a couple of you out there, if you're dealing with your divine counterpart, they may have salt and pepper hair if they're a male, possibly. Clean cut, some of them are clean cut, shaved, good looking, attractive, beautiful, gorgeous. Doesn't have to be male, could be male or female, doesn't matter. But for some of you, not for all of you, but they're specifically, I'm picking up very strong Leo and Aries Leo and Aries energy kicking in here. All right, so my air signs. Where are my air signs this morning? My air signs have got to wake up. I'm going into the plank card deck to clarify. Why all of a sudden? Why all of a sudden out of nowhere? Somebody's wanting to reunite. They're wanting to see you face to face. They want a second chance. Somebody knows that they messed up. I mean, they do. Some of you might be having a former flame return. That's what I'm picking up. A former old flame. And it's strong for some of you. Others of you, it's going to be the person that you've been dealing with. It's the person that you think about the most. Second chances. I'm hearing somebody's going to say in this scenario for somebody out there that might have had a, um, a person that you had been dating for a while and they walked away. For some of you, it could have been years ago and they were in karmic relationship after relationship after relationship. And this isn't for all of you, but for some of you, this former flame, old flame that I'm picking up, Deep down inside, this person has been in love with you all this time. I think they're getting ready to get out of a third-party situation and come after you in a good way. Um, it could be that this person, this old flame that I'm picking up for some of you, not for all of you, but in this scenario, that this person is going, they, I think they're going to express that they're done with this other person. And they're going to say, I've always wanted to be with you. 
And for some of you, you may be like, what? You know, and then some of you might fly off the handle and say, well, you chose this person over me and blah, blah, blah. And they're going to say, I know. But I was wrong. I should have chose you. Very odd message. This is coming in from somebody's old flame, old flame. And for others of you, the person that you love the most, They are deeply in love with you, even though if certain things have not been expressed, okay, somebody is going to show up, I say, unexpectedly through this four of cups, your person. I'm feeling a marriage proposals on the way for some of you. But this person is very passionate. I'm also picking up, too, that this person has evolved somewhat. For those of you that have been in separation, has evolved a little bit more over the last few weeks. There are still some blockages within this person, but... There's a tower moment. I feel a tower moment is either kicking in or it already happened. And now this person could be reflecting because of this judgment card. And I say that this person's going to do whatever it takes. They're going to do whatever it takes to be with you. This person... Whoever you're dealing with, they're very prideful. They're prideful. They, they allowed other things to get in the way of the connection. Um, they have not forgotten about you. For those of you who have not had communication they haven't they 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 haven't forgotten about you oh there must be confirmation there zoom 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 <laughs> some of them i'm seeing the five of cups i'm even seeing the five of cups kicking into my mind's eye right now that the guilt that some of them feel is weighing very heavy on them. Because they know, like in the beginning, when the two of you, for some of you in this scenario, when you two were in the beginning stages of the relationship, that there was nothing... Nothing felt like, even if there were challenges for whatever reason or family challenges, that nothing could stop the two of you. The love in the beginning, you know, when you're in those honeymoon phases, you know, takes a lot of energy to keep that type of feeling up. This person had no intention on hurting you. That was never the intention in the beginning. Too many things got in the way. For some of them, it was addictions. For a lot of them, it was family members. I'm hearing the phrase from Mary Poppins. It's kind of an odd message. But they see you 
practically perfect in every way. That's what I'm hearing. And they know that there are things that they shouldn't um, have taken out on you. And that's what they're really, you know, what they're really feeling guilty about. Because you made things very comfortable as best as you could. Even if money was tight at certain points, you did everything to make things beautiful. But this person, whoever you're dealing with, Scorpio, they have been reflecting. They do miss your face. For those of you that have not seen your person face to face in a while, could be up to two months, two years, anywhere in between that last 10 weeks, maybe over this past summer. Could have been four months ago, four days, four weeks. Could have been last fall. They miss your face. This energy is really weighing heavy on them. It's going to take a lot of courage and strength for this person to come forward. But according to my cards today, somebody's getting ambitious because of this King of Wands activity. One, two. Yeah, they go from the two to the three with you. They want to celebrate. They want to take you out. Maybe even cook you dinner. Maybe cook you dinner at their house or your house or whatever the case may be. They know that, yes, things have been unsatisfactory. The energies were unsatisfactory in the past. Why is judgment here, Archangel Michael, for this person? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Because they had guilt. Seven of swords, seven of spears, one in the same. Why do they want a second chance? Why was there a judgment call? Because there were lies, betrayals, deceit. They know it. They know But you are their everything, and they never intended to hurt you. That was not the goal in the beginning. That wasn't premeditated. That wasn't to make you feel like an outcast. For some of your people... Or the person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, in this scenario, your person knows that their family didn't treat you the way that you needed to be treated. Some of them have controlling mother figures, lying, deceptive mothers, lying, deceptive fathers, sisters, brothers, stepbrothers, aunts, uncles, gab, and gossipers within their family. And for some of them, they don't want to pull you back into that family drama because they know that you're too good for that. But the reason for this judgment call is because, yeah, the universe is making major judgment calls on your person.
to make this person realize that, you know, time's ticking. Time is ticking. They know that they lied. They gave you the impression for some of you that they wanted to marry you. That they wanted to marry you, that they wanted to be with you. They told you that the best was yet to come. But they had BS that was going on. Bullshit. That's what it was. Excuse my French, but it's true. They didn't want to pull you any more into that energy for some of them. Some of your partners are getting ready to grow up and not be attached to the hip or to the other area of a family member. I think this person is going to come back crying. I think they're going to come back sobbing. You're for some of you you're going to see this deep regret. Sadness, you know. But they know that things have been unsatisfactory, but somebody is going to be showing up. Somebody's going to be showing up at the door or making communication. This person's going to swallow their pride, swallow their ego. They have no choice because if they don't, I say that, no, that nothing's going to go right. Nothing's going to go right in their life because you can't, you can't expect to move on and have lollipops and roses in your life when you've done somebody dirty or you just ghosted them and, you know, know that this person had put other people before you. And you expect to go on and, and have a, a really fantastic, wonderful life, and yet you leave somebody out in the cold? No, it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. It may appear that it works that way, but guess what? Universe only allows that bull crap for so long, and then a judgment call is made and say, ah, 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 because whatever is fated and destined to be, like I said, you guys, everything is in divine timing and divine order. Why? Because our universe and the way our planets and our solar system is, everything is perfectly aligned for a reason. All the stars in the universe are aligned accordingly for a reason. Divine orchestration. And when two people are meant to be together, guess what? When they say destino, it is written in the stars. Okay? Don't take that lighthearted because there is there's truth behind that. When something's written in the stars, written in the good book, and whatever is in the universe's plan of action, it's meant to be. And these outside forces, outside influences are going to go, bye-bye. They know they lied. <sighs> Baby steps. <clears throat> That's what I'm hearing. Baby steps. For this person. And then build up the momentum to come in as the king of wands. Passionate, energetic, 
I think somebody's getting their mojo back. That's what I'm hearing. One, two, three, and four. We go from the four to the ten of hearts, you guys. This person's going to come knocking on your door, reaching out to you, however they're going to do it, to give you your over-the-rainbow moment. There are reasons why I do my readings the way I do, you guys. I don't allow the cards just to shuffle and see what falls out that you know that that's kind of like to me that's like blowing energy and caution to the wind go by the numbers numbers are accurate ten of hearts you guys ten of hearts cancer Pisces, scorpio and here's my air signs aquarius libra gemini energy coming in They, they want to have it all. This person, I say, you'd rather see this person do a 180. You don't want them to do a 360 because if they do a 360, that could just bring you back to the same old freaking problems that you had before. A real turnaround is somebody being able to meet you halfway. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get to that halfway point together, then you can go full circle. You know what I'm saying? You can, you know, get get the wheel Get the wheel of fortune running up and running again and start changing events, changing circumstances together. But they're bringing you, I say, what's ever in this person's satchel is the Ten of Hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Ten of Wands, why are you here? Well, they don't want to be in that energy. Somebody's going to be sending out an emotional SOS, or when they reach out and communicate with you, they could be expressing their waiting also, too. Three of Wands, three of Clubs energy can indicate waiting. You know, you're sending the ships out, okay? Sending out an emotional SOS. But they're waiting for this burden. Yeah, we all are. We're waiting for the burden to get lifted here. There's no doubt about this. Could be happening in 10 weeks. Might take another 10 weeks, you guys. We want to see less than that. We want to we want to see it today. Okay? Because the energy, the power of the future is here today. It could take up to 3 maybe another 3 weeks. It could be another 10 weeks by the time this person or all of us get out of some kind of burden here, okay? They're anxious. I think there's some anxiousness that's building up between this three of clubs and this king. That's what I'm seeing. They can feel it. Can taste it. It's like this person... They're going to be charging ahead like a racehorse. Because I can hear the sounds of a, a horse galloping. King of Wands, what do you want to say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14. Yeah. They're going to have perseverance and determination to go the distance. What did I say? I added up the 2 and the 2 and the 4. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. Finding the courage and the strength to go the distance. Sign a Leo energy. Strength, courage. Not letting anything get in the way. The lion doesn't let anything get in its way. A lot of passion. Looking on the bottom of the playing card deck, yeah, they're going to, oh, wow, well, yeah, they're going to be traveling fast, you guys, and then we have the four of clubs, hang on a second, oh my god, that was funny, hang on a second, ha, <laughs> okay, <laughs> wow, yeah, they're going to be traveling fast, that, that, this card just, whoosh, Jumped out of my hands. 
only to bring you this. This is on the bottom of the deck as well. Four of clubs. Twin flame soulmate 11-11 connection, you guys. Yep. I'll leave that energy off to the side, but it's there. Interesting energy. But I hadn't seen my earth signs. Where the hell are my earth signs this morning? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, wake up. What's the energy, Archangel Michael, between this three of clubs and the king of wands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. They want to bring a commitment. There's one of my earth signs, Taurus. Taurus energy kicking in. They want to bring commitment. Some of you guys will be going into union in the month of May. One, two, three, four, and five. Commitment, or they're waiting for some of them. They could be waiting for divorce, finalization on divorce, okay? Um, somebody's having a spiritual awakening, or somebody's get, gearing up to move away, I say, from family members. Yeah, this is about soulmate union, you guys. Look at this, this energy. Traveling to see the person that they love the most, bringing in marriage and commitment for those of you that do want marriage, sign a Gemini. Like I said, some of you guys are going into union between now and July and a little bit of August as well, okay? We go from Taurus energy, Taurus season into Gemini season, all right? See what Gemini wants to say here through the lovers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. What did I say about strength, you guys? My spirit guides freaking rock. It's called the power of the numbers. Leo energy, I was picking up on Leo energy. This person is trying to find the strength and the courage to come forward to bring you this and this and this and travel, communication, marriage. They're going to show up. They want to reap the harvest with you. Perseverance and determination. They're going to be passionate about you. They want to celebrate. They miss them home-cooked meals. The only thing, you guys, here, sending out the emotional SOS, here, out of all of that, because of their lies, betrayals, deceit, put a lot of heaviness, a lot of burden in on them. They know in towards the end of the situation or the separation, for those of you who are in separation, they know they did you dirty. And they're really feeling guilty about it, okay? But they're going to do, some. like I said, they could be preparing or getting a squirrel up their ass to basically come forward. Lovers, strength, you're over the rainbow moment. Reconciliation, bringing in peace and spirituality and tranquility. And her offer, proposals, marriage, they're going to travel to see you. For some of you, it will be in the month of August. Some of you, it'll be this month, number four. Four of Wands, they want you. They want to build a new foundation. Four of Cups, yes, again, they know that things have been unsatisfactory. Some of them had a judgment call, but they want to reap the harvest with you. Begging for a second chance, they're going to do whatever it takes. Nine of Wands, Nine of Clubs, bringing in passion, the chemistry. They want to be with you. They love you. They're, they're waiting now. They're, all they're doing is just waiting for that right timing, you guys.
So we had strength. We're going to clarify the energy of strength. Again, nine of wands, perseverance and determination. Spirits are just being very straightforward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll do it one more time. Because you are their empress or emperor. Some of them want to build a family with you. They want to rebirth the relationship. Some of you are pregnant. Some of you female Scorpios or cross watchers are pregnant. But this is about growth and expansion. A cornucopia of blessings and thanksgivings. Message from the Empress. One, two, and three. Only to bring... Come on, you guys. Come on. Look at... Power... Power couple. Some of you are dealing straight up with an Aries or a Pisces, a Libra, or a Taurus. For some of you. Power of the numbers, you guys. Get out of your heads. Get, you know, get out of the negative thinking. Get out of the worry, the strain, the anxiety, and it's not doing you guys any good. All it's doing for some of you, it's blocking you. It's blocking your blessings. Remember that everything in the universe is divinely orchestrated. Planets, stars, the sun, the moon, everything is aligned accordingly and scientifically. Perfection. Power couple here, perfection, perfection, male and male, female and female, male and female, doesn't matter. Power couple, that's going to have strength and courage to go the distance. Lovers, boom, straightforward messages. Hot damn. This is like fantastic. Message from the Emperor. One, two, three, and four. Scorpio, you're on the board. Change and transformation. This person's changing for the better. Or you are Scorpio. Or both of you. You're evolving. Message from the sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Queen of Wands. See? Another power couple energy. I'm not looking at her as meddling. Beauty, manifestation, and attraction is here. This person has not left even the attraction part. They, they're still attracted to you, Scorpio, and vice versa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Power couple, not once but twice. See, they're wanting to move forward. They want to get out of the murkiness of the, the situation. Too much goodness, you guys, and that's not a bad thing. It's not too good to be true. Because you guys deserve to be in partnerships that are very loving, very giving, very equal. This is what it's all about, the lovers. Change and transformation within your relationship. Strength and courage. It could be that some of you in the month of May, because we have Gemini energy coming in through the month of May, but we also have the full moon in Scorpio coming up in the month of May. Pay attention to the energies, you guys. Pay attention. Get your minds right. Power couple. Not once, but twice. There's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of sexual chemistry. Getting out of Dodge. This person, wherever they're at, what are they getting away from? One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Some of you live across the water. Whatever the conflict is in that person's world or your person's world, they're done. They're done with the conflict. They're done with the dirty bird activity. They're done, they're done with the bull crap, you guys. Bottom line. It's over. Game over. They want you. Change, transformation, strength, courage, power couple. My God, you guys. Begging for a second chance. They know they hurt you. They know that you've been unsatisfied, that things have not been happy. Things have not been the same. But they're bringing in, clarifying that four of cups again. You're over the rainbow moment. Okay. All right, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, thank you so much for being here and for the love and support of my channel. Again, if you'd like to book a personal and private reading with me, hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. All of the specials, again, will be listed in the description box below. Um, and I'll be back for another daily Scorpio reading. Take care.